special day today. I'm up at the site of the Black Bear Americana Music Festival. If you've been listening to the podcast, I've been talking about this for the last few weeks. If you want to grab a ticket, you can still go October 11th, 12th, and 13th. That's Columbus Day weekend right here in Goshen, Connecticut. I'll put a link to the website in the description below. It's the Black Bear Americana Music Festival. A lot of great people coming to play. It's going to be amazing. So we're up here doing a little site visit. And I also wanted to share with you some tips and tricks for filming live concerts. A few things that I've picked up along the way as I've been doing it the last couple years. And uh, I think it'll help take your game to the next level. So let's pop out and see what we can find here on site at the Black Bear Americana Music Festival. This is Evan. What's going on here? Uh, we're throwing a music festival for uh, 35 plus bands, Columbus Day weekend here at the Goshen Fairgrounds. And uh, you can get your tickets at blackbearmusicfest.com. Blackbearmusicfest.com. I kept messing that up before. Oh. But I, I'm going to get it now. Blackbearmusicfest.com. Link in the description below. Don't worry. See you there. What kind of bands are coming? Uh, Americana. So we got folk, we got blues, we got some rock, we have. Uh, bluegrass bands from all over the country. Um, even from, we had some from Louisiana last year. Uh, local bands here that are uh, doing amazing things, and some you know nationally known, even worldwide known acts. Tons of food vendors. We got great food this food, year, right? Yeah, food vendors, beer vendors. Very kid friendly. Kids under 16 are free, and yes, it's going to be a great time all around. Awesome, man. All right, we'll see you there. Dude. All right, thanks. Cool. Site visit went great, and now of course, Connecticut weather, it's raining, so we're going to duck inside here and uh, see if we can't find a good spot to get to this video so we can give you some cool tips and ideas to start filming concerts. So let's hope this door is open. All right. Just want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by AirTurn.com, makers of the AirTurn Go Stand, my favorite portable mic stand on the market. I'll leave a link up here so you guys can check out that video. I'll also put it in the description below. They are manufacturers of mobile mounting hardware and wireless app controllers. AirTurn offers tools for seamlessly executing your performance the way you want. So check out AirTurn.com. Use the code ROADIE for exclusive deals. That's ROADIE, R-O-A-D-I-E. Let's get into this video. We are talking today about filming concerts. Now, I love doing this. I love music so much and I'm super psyched when I get to go out and film a concert. So one of the very first things that I do right when I get to the venue is I put my stuff in a safe place and I go and I scout the entire venue, whether it's a small club, a bar, or a bigger venue. I go all around the venue and I look for all the vantage points that I can shoot from. Uh, what it looks like from where the front of house position stands or from the monitor engineer, all the different places that I think I'm gonna be able to shoot. And the key with this is that you're looking for places that will give you creative shots and give you the best angles that you can possibly get to help sell the band. The second thing, and this is a big one, is you want to get in and you want to introduce yourself to everybody there. You want to meet all the band members, the stage manager, the house manager, the production manager, and the front of house engineer, the monitor engineer. You want to meet these people so that they know you're the guy or gal who's going to be running around with the camera and filming stuff. You also want to let them know that you're approachable and that you're professional. So when you meet people like the monitor engineer or the stage manager or the front of house engineer, you can ask them and say, listen, I'm gonna be filming tonight. Is it okay if I film from behind you so that I can get a cool shot off of your mixing board to the stage or things like that? And they may say, no, you know, I don't like anybody back here. And that's totally cool. You have to respect that. But they may just say, oh, you know what? You can't stand here, but if you go stand over there, that'll give you a cool shot. So that's something to think about. Introduce yourself to everybody, be nice, but you also wanna be invisible. All right, third and the fun part is the actual shooting. This is my favorite part. The club goes dark, the lights come on, the music starts, and you are in the zone doing your thing. Get creative. Here's how this works. A lot of times photographers and videographers only get maybe the first three songs right up in front of the stage to do their thing, and then they've gotta get out. If you're lucky enough and you're actually shooting for the band, 
you can pretty much do whatever you want and that's how you're able to get some great footage and at this point how I've been able to really capture some bands in a really cool way. So I'm right up in there with the crowd, I'm right at the front of the stage or I'm on the wings of the stage. You want to try to get creative, you know, find if you can, if you have access to the side of the stage, if you can shoot through guitars or shoot through instruments uh, to reveal, you know, the lead singers looking through the band out to the audience, all that stuff looks really cool. Mess around with your frame rates. Try slow motion stuff. And don't just stand in front of the artist at the front of the stage. Try to get as many different people as you can and make sure you cover as many of the different band members as you can because it will make each of them super happy and it will give you more options when you get into the editing as well. Now some of the lenses that I've used are the 16 to 35, the 24 to 70, and the 70 to 200. And basically what I do is I start with the 16 to 35 and I cover as much of the room and the stage as I can. And then I switch out lenses after a few songs and I go to the 24 to 70, do the same thing. I get all the different focal lengths that I can. And then I switch to the 70 to 200 and I'll still do some close-up shots, just some really cool depth of field shots. Those always help and they always are super cool. And then I go way back in the back of the house and I'll shoot from there with the 70 to 200. And if you don't have those lenses, that's totally fine. You just have to get creative and use what you have. I also like to put a lot of movement into my shots. So I'll come off of something, I'll come off of the back of an audience member's head to reveal something in the shot, like a singer or a guitar solo, or I'll use the onstage monitors that the artists use. I'll come off of that or come up over top of that. You wanna make them look good. That's your job, is to make the band look as impressive as possible. And don't forget to film the crowd. Use them like another character in your video, right? They're there having a great time. Look for those people that are having a blast, that are smiling, that are having fun. They will interact with you. The more you're open with them, the more open they'll be with you, and they'll give you some great little pieces of B-roll to use. And finally, this is the big one, have fun. You have an opportunity to come in with your gear take your talent and make this band or artist look the best that they can and look like a rock star. That is the most important thing. Have a good time. At the end of the night, go around, thank everybody, and be on your merry way. That's all you gotta do. I wanna thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Hit the bell so you get notified when new videos come out. I will see you in the next video. Thank you to Airturn for sponsoring this video. All links will be below, and I'll see you in the next one.